how many games will the Pittsburgh Steelers win in 2024? What's going on, football fans? Steeler Nation. It's Mitch here, here with my record prediction for the Pittsburgh Steelers. The new look Pittsburgh Steelers. Will they make the playoffs? in 2024? Will they compete for the AFC North in 2024? All those questions answered, including a game-by-game -game schedule preview in this video. If that sounds good, don't forget to grunt spike the like button. Get in the comments and let me know if you're a believer in the Steelers in 2024. Also, subscribe to the channel for more NFL record predictions for all 32 NFL teams just like this. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Let's talk about it. The Pittsburgh Steelers, week number one. They take on the new look Atlanta Falcons. Kirk Cousins in Atlanta. New quarterback. New quarterback for the Steelers, Russell Wilson. I'm pretty sure there could be some Sierra ties to Atlanta. Just saying. But the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, can win this game. Why? I think that the maturity of the coaching staff, and specifically Mike Tomlin as well as the leaders on this team defensively, Cam Hayward, TJ Watt, Minka Fitzpatrick, I think they'll have that unit ready. The Steelers have the definitive advantage on defense in this game. And with both offenses having new quarterbacks, new looks from a play-calling standpoint, and the factor of Arthur Smith, a revenge game in Week 1, his familiarity with the talent of the Falcons, what those players do well, what they don't do so well, I think that's going to give them an edge. And I think the more experienced staff in Pittsburgh will find a way to win this game. I'm not saying the Steelers are way better than the Falcons, especially in Atlanta, in their environment, in a dome. It's going to be hype. It's going to be difficult because Atlanta, those fans are going to be pumped to see Cousins and this team and the high expectations but the Steelers are just that team to let them down easy in week one. So I got the Steelers with a win there. In week two, I could see an upset here. Now, the Steelers usually lose one or two games every year that they shouldn't lose. And they usually win one or two games that they shouldn't win. That's how the Steelers operate. Now, this game is interesting because it's in September at Mile High, which is historically... Not lately, but historically, one of the toughest places to play because of the altitude. So you have to take that into account. Russell Wilson will be playing in Denver, a Russell Wilson revenge game, but also a Sean Payton, I'm going to show you, Russell Wilson, because you're not any good anymore. And perhaps Sean Payton might have the upper hand in this matchup, understanding what Russ does well, and what he does not do well, and he might be able to play into that in this game plan. But the Broncos will likely have Bo Nix, a rookie quarterback at quarterback against one of the better defenses in the league, and one that often is difficult for young quarterbacks to play because are they rushing, are they sending players back into coverage, or who are, who's coming from what angle, you know, the different blitz packages that they send, and then the different coverages that they give. So... This is an interesting one. I, I could see you picking either way. I am going to pick the upset because I think this is one of those games that the Steelers could lose just due to the Sean Payton and the mile high factor. I think those two things are going to be hard to overcome. And this is a lot tougher of a game than I think people would think on the surface. Week three, the Chargers. Now this game is interesting. I, I think this is pretty even. The Chargers, I would say, obviously have the better quarterback. Their offensive line is pretty good. And their defense early in the year could be pretty healthy and not bad. 
Jim Harbaugh will still get, you know, the vibe, the footing of his team for the Chargers early in the year. So what will that really look like? Obviously, there's familiarity with the Ravens coaches that are involved now with the Chargers, specifically offensively. Greg Roman, past offensive coordinator for many years of the Ravens. The Steelers played that offense very well, but not with Justin Herbert at the helm, a different style of quarterback. But not great receivers. The Chargers don't have those. I think the Steelers at home should be able to win this game. So I'm going to give them the win. It should be close, though. Week four, the Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to go with the Colts for the reason being the Colts demolished the Steelers last year in Indianapolis. And I think that had more to do with the coaching than the game, than the personnel, the game plan, the script. I think the Colts are going to be one of those teams that on their best day can compete with any team, but they're also going to be a bit of a roller coaster in Indianapolis, tough, tough place to play in that dome. I would say that that is the type of environment that does not suit the Steelers well in terms of the Steelers want to play a slower, physical, methodical game. The Colts likely will be the faster team. I think their pass rush is going to be pretty good this year. Might give the Steelers' young offensive line some issues. And I could see that Gus Bradley defense giving Russell Wilson some issues, right? They have obviously a history together. Then you look at the offense of the Colts. I feel like with Steichen calling plays, he'll have all the right answers for how to attack the Steelers defense. So I lean towards the Colts just as what happened last year, but I'm not exactly like 100% that's going to happen. Week five, the Dallas Cowboys. This one is interesting. In Pittsburgh, I like Pittsburgh at home, typically. Dallas, I don't think they'll be able to run the ball all that well on Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh's defensive line and their pass rush can disrupt Dak. I think CeeDee Lamb will be an issue in this game, though. I do think that Dak might be able to get a rhythm in the middle of the field throwing the football with Ferguson, with CeeDee. Defensively, Dallas has a really strong pass rush, but their run defense is a bit suspect at times. Man, this is a tough one. They do have a good secondary. Trayvon Diggs could match up with George Pickens. Man, this is a tough game. I, I really think this could go either way. It likely will be a one-score affair. I kind of lean Dallas, but I don't love that pick. I lean Dallas. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that one as a tie for now, and we're going to get back to it. Week six, the Steelers at the Raiders. This is another game that I think is going to be very close. I think the Raiders, like the Steelers, are a team that have built themselves on the line of scrimmage, on physicality, on toughness. I think the Steelers have the better coach. I think the Steelers have the better all-around defense. I think, though, in Vegas, that's tough. Vegas has got some nice weapons. Minshew, right? He was the quarterback for the Colts last year. I just talked about how they beat the Steelers. That's an interesting one, man. I, I could see that going either way. I'm going to leave that as a tie for now, too. I'm going to get back to those. I'm still thinking through those. I do think they're going to beat the Jets. I just have a feeling about that game. Nothing too mathematic or scientific. I just feel like the Jets are going to have a pretty easy road at the beginning of the year, minus the first week against the Niners. They're going to go on a bit of a run. They're going to hit a wall in Pittsburgh against a good defense and a strong pass rush that will disrupt Aaron Rodgers. Russell Wilson has had Rodgers' number in the past at times. I also feel like the Steelers' offense, they're not going to throw all over the Jets, but I certainly think they could run the ball on the Jets maybe make some big plays on the Jets. So 
I'm going to go Steelers. I also think they have a better coaching staff between Arthur Smith and Mike Tomlin versus Hackett and Salah. I think that's a pretty big edge. Week 8, the Giants, I think they win that game. Giants are not a very good team. Monday night at home, that should be self-explanatory. They've got a bye. Then they play a pretty easy opponent in Washington. Although Pittsburgh tends to lose these games every once in a while on the road against bad teams. By week, they could come out sleeping. So they definitely could lose this game. I'll lean towards them winning this game for now, though, just because they are the better team. I think the commander's offensive line will have a really tough time blocking the Steelers. The Ravens at the Steelers, I think the Steelers will split with the Ravens, so I'll just mark that down. That's just self-explanatory, seems to happen every year. The Ravens, I think, are the better overall team, but the Steelers play the Ravens better than just about anybody in football, and their defense gives Lamar a lot of issues. Plus, with the Ravens' new offensive line and a defense that I think won't be as good as last year with Mike McDonald removed, I think there are chances for the Steelers to get the upper hand early in that matchup. Week 12, I think the Browns beat the Steelers Thursday night. In Cleveland, close close game, defensive game. I think Cleveland, dog pound, tough place to play on a short week after a physical game against the Ravens. Really tough stretch for the Steelers. That's really starting here, and I'm going to go over that in a second. But Cleveland, they are kind of like the Steelers. I think they have more talent overall, though. They have less holes. I would say both teams have equally suspect quarterback play. So in that case, I would lean towards the Browns, who are also at home here. Now, this is where the terror begins for Pittsburgh. They play the Ravens at home in week 11. The Browns on the road on a short week after playing the Ravens. That is almost a guaranteed tough game. Then they play the Bengals in Cincy later in the year where they're typically good. They play Cincy twice later in the year where they're typically better than early in the year. They play Cleveland again, another AFC North matchup. They play Philly in Philly in Week 15. They play Baltimore in Baltimore. They play Kansas City on Christmas on a a short week. Is that Saturday to Wednesday? That is absurd. You've got to play the Super Bowl champs on a Wednesday. And then, of course, you finish with the Bengals. So this is going to be an awful stretch for the Steelers. So I can imagine that they're going to have to beat the Bengals here if they want a chance at the playoffs. They're going to have to. This is a 10-week rest, so I think it's more likely that Pittsburgh beats the Bengals off a 10-day rest on the road than it is playing them after playing the Chiefs in the final game of the season, where the Bengals will probably be at their peak. So I, I think the Bengals, they'll split with the Bengals, but they'll lose the last game, they'll win the game, So it'll be inverse from typical where they'll win the road game, they'll lose the home game. That's the way I'm going to go with it. Both will be pretty close, you would think, just the way those two teams play against each other. But Joe Burrow, back healthy for the entire year, you would think. Really awesome offense. I think they've improved their offensive line. Strong coaching staff in Cincy and a defense that's fundamentally sound and shouldn't have any issues getting off the field against a kind of mediocre Steelers offense. I would lean towards the Eagles beating the Steelers in Philadelphia. I think the Steelers will split with the Browns as well and split with their entire division. I think that's pretty fair in the AFC North. And then in Week 17, they'll lose to the Chiefs. Super Bowl champs, short week. Mahomes has torched the Steelers in the past. Bad matchup for them. So right now, they're 8-7-2. I think it's pretty fair to say they'll win one and lose one against the Raiders and the Steelers. The Steelers and the Raiders, and then the Steelers and the Cowboys. Now, which one do I think they'll win? Which one do I think they'll lose? Now, one's at home and one's on the road. I would also say, though, Dallas is better than the Raiders, just on paper. So, I'm going to go Dallas beats the Steelers, and the Raiders, the Steelers beat the Raiders. That's what I'm going to go with. So, I'm going to go 9-8 and eight for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that's a pretty solid record for them because you have to think, yes, their offensive line, they've made some improvements and you would argue they've gotten better. I think their receiving core is probably a little bit worse, 
post Deontay Johnson. I think their offense as a whole and a cohesive unit, the play calling will be better. The quarterback play will be better, but not by a lot. I mean, Russ will be able to manage it, but I don't think they're going to be a high octane, super explosive offense. They're going to run the ball. That's going to be their thing. Defense, they're going to be pretty good, but you have to factor in TJ Watt gets hurt a lot. Cam Hayward is older. Minka gets hurt a lot. They've got some suspect things, but Pat Queen being added. Some of the things they did this offseason, you do really like. So I think the Steelers are a better roster and a better team than last year, as long as they stay healthy. But this is a just ridiculous schedule. Like you look after this bye week, other than Washington, you can make an argument they're playing a playoff game every week for the rest of the season. That's just insane. And then it's not like they have an easy stretch early in the year, right? Maybe you argue they beat the Broncos or they beat the Colts, right? But man, they could lose to the Falcons. They could lose to the Jets. So like they have to win a lot of games early to have a chance at the playoffs and just survive down the stretch. So I think nine and eight is pretty fair for the Steelers. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. Gronk spiked the like button. It's Mitch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next NFL record prediction video. Let me know your record for the Steelers in the comment section below and watch the rest of the AFC North, the Ravens, the Browns, the Bengals. How will they do in 2024? Peace, guys.